So you've got a new SSD and you want to install Windows 11 on it. Installing Windows might sound pretty easy, but what if you want to keep all of the data from your old drive? The good news is there's a way that you can do this and not lose a thing. In this video, I'll walk you through a safe way to install Windows 11 on your new SSD, keep all of your old data, and get back to your desktop like nothing ever changed. So let's get started. Here we can see that our PC is currently on Windows 10 Pro, the 22H2 version. You probably know that Windows 11 has certain hardware requirements for your PC. To check if your computer meets them, you can download Microsoft's PC Health Check, and this will tell you the result. Even if your PC doesn't meet the requirements, there's no need to worry. Later in this video, we'll go over a method that can bypass those restrictions and successfully install Windows 11. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have your new NVMe SSD, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you check the capacity. This is a one terabyte drive, and you wanna make sure that your used space on your current disk is less than the maximum capacity of your new drive. So here our used space is 40 gigabytes, so we have plenty of space to use. And we're just gonna go ahead and use an enclosure to plug in this new SSD. If you have a slot on your motherboard, you can do it there as well. Now that we have everything ready, the next step is to install Windows 11 and transfer over all of the data. Normally, you'd have to set up Windows 11 on the new SSD first and then go ahead and transfer all of the data over, which can be relatively time consuming. But there's actually a tool that can complete both tasks with just one click and it's called EaseUs Disk Copy. It recently updated a new feature that not only clones all of your data to the new SSD, but also automatically upgrades to Windows 11 during the process. Also, you don't even need to worry about hardware requirements as I mentioned earlier, because this tool will bypass those restrictions. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna go ahead and click on migrate to Windows 11. We're gonna press next. We're gonna select our target disk. And it's gonna be this one terabyte model. Select. And we wanna choose our target OS. So it's gonna give us a bunch of options here. So you can choose the addition. I'm gonna do Windows 11 Pro, English, 64-bit. We can also manually locate an ISO as well. And we just go ahead and press next. It's going to delete the data on the target disk. Press continue. And now we'll wait for this to finish. The amount of time that it's gonna take is gonna be entirely dependent on the speed of your disks and the amount of data that you're transferring over. All right, so now that it's done, it'll give you a summary of what it's done. So it's done all of the data and settings that were originally on there and it's migrated over five applications. I didn't have much on here. We can go ahead and view the logs if you want to, or we're gonna press done. Now we're gonna go ahead and swap the NVMe drive into the computer and remove the hard drive. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and unplug the old drive and I can remove that entirely. And then we're just going to install the new drive in here and we can get it booted up. So here we are in our Windows 11 installation. We can go ahead into our about PC and we can make sure that we're running our Windows 11. We're on 25H2, which is the most recent version, which is fantastic. We can go into our file explorer. We can double check that all of our stuff had copied over. So we had some pictures and our documents are here as well, as well as our videos. So everything looks good and the process is complete. If you have any questions, leave a comment and we'll do our best to answer.